My name is Seth Rogers, and I'll be sharing with you the importance of being technologically savvy in the modern world. My brother Samuel is a five-year-old here at Oak Ridge. He says that technology is science, and he pointed to the ceiling fan in my room. And from that ceiling fan onwards, technology is ubiquitous in everyday life, which means it's everywhere, and we will, and we will use technology in many more simple tasks than we ever have before in the past. My mentor, Mrs. Reed, is the 121 specialist at Oak Ridge. She says that if you didn't understand technology or didn't appreciate technology, then you were in a very small percentage in our world. This means that the people who have access to technology at their fingertips, most people, are using it to their advantage to facilitate what they need to get done. And the people that have it at their fingertips and aren't will need to soon if they want to live, if, if they want to prosper in the modern world. It is important to know how to use technology in jobs, relationships, and work. Technology and jobs. Technology is widely used in jobs more than ever before. Jobs that were maybe known as simple fac factory jobs where you just connect a few nuts or bolts are rapidly diminishing, and jobs will become much more technology-oriented and complicated. If you don't want your job getting replaced by a computer or a robot, you might have to work on those two things. Who's going to develop and fix the computer software when it goes wrong, and who's going to fix the robots when they malfunction? And overall, you're just going to know how to use technology to work effectively. If you don't use it, you might end up with a cut in your pay or even fired, which will leave you in an unstable situation for you and your family. At Oak Ridge, we have obviously embraced technology to facilitate learning. Me and my fellow classmates can turn in our assignments all in one place where the teachers can easily find them and grade them faster than before using physical copies. It is also much harder to lose a digital document than a physical document. Our assignments are done much more effectively and efficiently. Using technology in relationships, we, we can communicate long range and short range from Snapchat to Facebook. We can see eye to eye with people we would never get to meet in real life. And we can broaden our views of the world around us. And maybe even be persuaded to vote to a, donate to a charity. Compassion International is a Christian-based, nonprofit organization that helps people in third and sometimes even considered fourth world countries. They send out a magazine each month which can, which can give you information to buy goats, other livestock, emergency feeding, or any other things these poor people might need. And maybe the most important part of their operation is their letter system. What the letter system is, is it, allows, it allows people in first world countries to write letters back and forth to a child or a teen in these poor countries. And these letters back and forth can maybe give them a little bit of hope in their hard times. All of this requires a huge technological infrastructure to make all of this happen. Who is going to get the work orders to the right place to get the materials to the right people? And maybe the most complicated part, who is going to organize the translators that are writing the letters back and forth and they have to get the correct people? I have my own personal experience with this. Since she was a freshman in high school, my family has sponsored a girl named Ruby Stella who lives in India. We have written letters back and forth to her as she's now graduated high school and is in nursing school, the first person of her family to ever do so. She's about to become a nurse and support her family in a way that she's never been able to before. Some people say that there are some drawbacks to using technology relationships, and they do have some points. They say that while communicating on your phone or device, you will ignore close range, the classic example of using phones at a dinner table. This is true, but there are some solutions to these problems. Spread out your use of technology. Don't use it all at one time. Maybe when you get on your phone, set a timer, and when the timer goes off, you get off your phone and do something else. And also, don't get addicted. You, don't, you shouldn't feel pangs of panic or terror if you don't feel your phone in your pocket since the last 30, 30 seconds ago you checked it. Through being technologically savvy, there are some roadblocks. Some people aren't willing to accept that they need to be tech savvy in the modern world. They think that sticking to the old forms of technology that they are familiar with will still, they can live the same way, in the more comfortable way that people who are tech savvy can, and that's not true. Some people just don't understand. I know lots of people who have iPads or iPhones or devices and just don't know how to use them to their full advantage or fix them when they go wrong. These are the solutions to these problems. Cyber Patriot is a course around our school and many other places that can help people of any age learn how to do cool stuff with computers or any other technology device. Taking Cyber Patriot or another course can really help you know how to use technology in a cool way and maybe even develop a hobby or something you like to do. And maybe if you are a grandparent or an aunt or uncle, you can turn to your young family members. 
they're teenagers, they will probably know how to fix the problem that you have with your device. And savvy friends. I know people who've worked on Apple tech support, PC tech support, worked at Lockheed Martin, and a variety of other places. And they can do almost anything an employee can do at the Apple store for them. And if none of those work for you, you can turn to the last and most simple solution. Just Google it. Google holds the answers for lots of stuff and lots of technology stuff. Most of the time it works if you can find a credible website. So as you can see, technology is a lot more than a ceiling fan. It's, it's productivity in work, better efficiency in school, and creates endearing relationships that we would never have otherwise. So my call to you is if you're not tech savvy, do a hard reset on your life and learn how to live in the modern world.